Hey, it is Michelle Stone um, with Michelle Stone Masterpieces. Um, thank you for coming. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're on my YouTube channel and you're hanging out watching me and following along what I'm doing. Um, I've had a great day today and I want to do an emotional color wheel and I want to take you along with me. Um, I am doing the 100 day challenge, uh, taking a couple of days off more than a couple, but that's okay. Cause that's my business. <laughs> um, yeah. And it's allowed me to kind of step back and take a new lease on the whole thing. You know, how sometimes when you, when you, when you, um, gear up for a challenge and you're like, you're doing it, you're doing, doing, doing it. And, and I don't know, it just gets like too much for a little bit, but then you're like, you know what? I committed to this. I'm going to follow through. And so that's where I am right now. And so, and you're here with me. And so you're, you're watching this with me and I appreciate you being here and doing this. And so, um, I am an artist, um, an art teacher an art curator and a, um, therapeutic art life coach. And so I, um, I do do therapeutic art life coach classes. And so, um, if, if that's ever something that you're interested in, please feel free to leave a comment. I also teach art classes to, um, to primarily children, but I also do adult classes as well. And I do private lessons. I do, um, you know, a private drawing. I actually just got done with a drawing class and I've been teaching kids all day long. So um, it's, you know, I can do art history, uh, therapeutic art, um, perspective, all, all kinds of, you know, pretty much whatever any other uh, teacher um, in the school system can teach. So I can also do that. I just have my own little twist to it. Anyway, so that's what we're doing for today is a therapeutic art with um, the emotional color wheels. Today is day number 32 out of 100. And um, you'll need a piece of paper, a couple of round items, like these guys. Oops, I gotta dump my, my, um, what's it called? My shavings out. And so, some, that, some colored pencils, a ruler, and a pencil. And, um, and here we go. So, ready? Let's go. Alright, here's my stuff. And here is... I got this part going right here. I'm going to bring this down a little bit further. The last couple of days I've been doing a lot of, a lot of um, emotions. So kind of bringing some more in. So I've got that. Those two. It's a little off center, but that's quite all right. I'm all right with that. So I'm not trying to be perfect in this process. Nothing in life is perfect, right? So, you know, you just, it's all the process. And I'm actually going to do these. I'm going to do four on either side today. So, you know what? I'm just going to actually kind of just do the, the center part first. There we go. Um, and then here and here. And then... here and here, and then here and here. All right, so there's that. And, you know, when I was taking my break, I was actually thinking about, I was thinking about like, um, do, are my core feelings in the center, are they actually um, honor, commitment, loyalty and love and you know I, i've really been thinking about it and everything kind of goes back to that for me um it didn't used to and i'll be honest with you it didn't used to it used to go back to some other more um unpleasant emotions but i will say that i'm the more that i um the more that I heal and I do these therapeutic art practices as well as all of the other stuff that I do, the journaling, 
the reading books, the working with my life coach, the um, just uh, I, I'm constantly working on myself. I'm committed, commitment. I'm committed to working on myself and being the best person that I can possibly be. And um, the more that I focus on that, the more that it's, you know, that's, that's where everything kind of ties into. And so that's what I'm working on today. So we've got honor, commitment, loyalty, and love. And then here I've got the four that I'm going to determine. For each one. And then we'll just kind of go from there. So um, I actually felt I was kind of journaling earlier and I felt liberation. And so I'm going to put liberation under commitment. And I also felt, um, and you know what, the more that you do this, the more that you kind of, you can hone into where they, they relate to, like, like if I'm thinking about honoring myself, so I honored my time today by doing certain things, um, getting up, eating my breakfast, working out, um, being so honored. So then, all right, so I'm going to go because this list is not, I'm not feeling this list today. So accepting, accepting feels like honor. Acceptance. I felt acceptance today. Yep. And then let's see what else I've got. Gratitude. Gratitude also feels like honor. And then let's see. Interested. Interested feels more, is it like commitment or loyalty? Interested feels more like commitment. Okay. Um, receptive feels more like honor. And then there was a point where I, like, I, I was exploring just in conversation, you know, just like exploring different topics with people. Uh, I was engrossed. That would be. Okay. And then there was a part where today where I was also like problem solving. Um, but I did feel secure. And I felt. Um curious, inquisitive, um, let's see what else we got. I felt considerate, and Comforted. I felt ex oh, I, the word that accepted. Okay, I felt um, encouraged. Did I put encouraged in here? No. Nope. I felt pleased. Commitment, I felt, did I put gratitude, yeah, I put gratitude, thankful, um, 
let's see so for love under love i felt serene and reassured all right so that's what i felt in those okay so if i were to think about what i'm feeling in what these feelings feel like to me right now so honor i don't know honor feels like two days in a row honor feels like green for whatever reason okay acceptance oh, acceptance feels like this copper color okay gratitude Gratitude is this peach color, receptive. Mm. Light brown and please. Ooh. Funny how these colors come so well. All right, so what do we got? Commitment. Commitment feels like this green. Um, liberation. What does liberation feel like? Oh. Okay. Interested. Oh, this pink. Okay. And gross. Thankful. Like. That's purple right here. Okay, loyalty. Um, loyalty. This pink right here. Secure. Secure feels like this brown. Curious. Ooh. Um, curious feels like silver. I may have to sharpen some of these. Inquisitive. Light blue. Encouraged. Okay. Consider, oh, whoops, love. What color is love? Love this pink right here. I need to get some new colored pencils down there. Like, how short this one is. <laughs> um, consider it. This orange. Comforted. Is this blue? I'm totally feeling all these colors right now. Serene. Yeah, right here, this light blue right here. And reassured. There we go. All right. Okay, so honor. Feeling into my honor is it feels really good. All right, and then acceptance. Oh, you know what? I did not write any of these in here. That's right, acceptance, gratitude. Receptive. Please. Commitment. Let's see what I got. Liberation. Interested. And 
grows. Thankful. Loyalty, secure. Curious. Inquisitive. Please. And then love. So we've got considerate. Comforted. Serene. And reassured. No, I just wrote all those out with a gel pen, so they're probably going to smear, but I am completely all right with that. So acceptance. Oh, good, they're not smearing. Oh, this is a pretty color. I like this copper right here. There we go. All right, what do we got? Gratitude. Feeling the gratitude. You know, they say, and I have honestly felt the difference, that when... When you spend time in gratitude, I have a sign that I see every morning when I wake up and every night when I go to bed, it says gratitude. And so it, it's a constant reminder of feeling that gratitude for everything that I have in my life, and everything that is and all of the possibilities that could be. And, um, and it's a great practice, I have to say. So commitment. Yeah, gratitude kind of changes. Gratitude changes the attitude, from my perspective. It really does. It's um, it's something that, you know, it's easy to complain and easy to, to you know, just not be happy with what you have or the people around you or all of that kind of stuff. But, you know, when, when you start spending time in gratitude, it's... It, it changes something. It changes actually the vibration. Actually, I was watching a video. Uh, one of my girlfriends, Claudia Dose, um, posted a video on social media earlier today, and she it was talking about Dr. Is that Dr. Mikoto? Mikimoto? That's not Mikimoto. Those are pearls. Uh, I think it's Dr. Mikoto, the, the Japanese doctor who changed, who studies the water, the science of water, and what that looks like and how um, they took regular Japanese tap water that didn't have any like straight molecules, and, like the you know, molecules that were formed and everything, and how they grabbed a bunch of people and they put them in a circle around this, this cup of water and they asked them to, to um, like send the cup of water gratitude and the the water actually changed the form of its molecules and so and, and i mean and, and it watched it like under a microscope as it was happening so it's i'm a firm believer in how gratitude changes people's perspectives so Anyway, so there's my rant on, on gratitude. So now I'm into curious and inquisitive, which is where I spend a lot of my time in curiosity and inquisitiveness. Um, and encouraged. Oops, hold on. Please. Wait, where am I? Secure? Curious, inquisitive, encouraged. And I wrote please. Oh, because please is up here. So is that what I wanted? So please, it's actually not please, it's encouraged. So there's that. And encouraged is in this pretty green. All right, so there's that. And then we've got love. As you can tell, I need to get more colored pencils, but that's okay. Okay. 
and then into consideration. Being considerate of people is very, very important. You've got comforted, comforting yourself is a big one. That is absolutely self-love. Um, feeling serene is also a choice and something that we can we can do with ourselves. And then being reassured, or feeling reassured, or feeling like feel, um, like reassuring ourselves as to because we get to choose whatever's going on in our mind. So there's today's color wheel. This is number day 32. And I am, um, I'm glad that you're here and that you did this with me. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. Um, if you liked what I did today, please also go ahead and subscribe and uh, click that bell right there. And so every time I do a, um, every time I do a video, you will actually be notified. So thank you very much and uh, have a great day. And uh, remember, color the residue of your day away. Thanks so much. Bye.